So hey guys, this morning I'll be headed over to the bus terminal here. Did a clean here, just cleaned this place fairly well here. Wanted to make sure I didn't incur any uh, charges for excessive dirt or anything like that. So let's go uh, take the bicycle over, park it. We're gonna park the bicycle by the bus terminal here. And then I'm gonna come back and get my luggage here. So I'm going to leave my bicycle here, and I'll, I'll be right back and grab the other stuff from my luggage. It's five minutes away. It shouldn't be a big deal to leave that. I actually just locked my one of my smaller bags to the bicycle uh, with some less expensive items in there. So it shouldn't be a big deal if it gets taken or something like this. So here I am at the Olsen's bus terminal. I just... Carried this, wheeled this uh, suitcase with my two bags here uh, down the streets, about a thousand feet, fifteen hundred feet. So that's about a third of a mile here. And there's hardly anybody here at the bus terminal. Just me uh, taking the bicycle again on the bus. Uh, probably going to be a couple of extra euros for that. <clears throat> and it's going to be about an hour and a half. Thankfully, we got good weather here. Uh, so easy to walk around outside, you know. And Budva has some pretty crazy cliffs around, you'll see on the video. This is my second time going through there. I was there three years ago in 2021 here. There's my stuff, guys, at the El Singe bus terminal here. And my bicycle. So bad news, guys. He doesn't want to accept the bicycle. So I'm going to try to pay him a little more and see if he'll accept it. If not, then I'll take the taxi to uh, bed. The, I've already got one offer here, uh, which is going to cost me more, of course, but got to get there to take my room in bed. The. Thank you. Oh, they they wouldn't accept the um, the bicycle uh, for the luggage in in the bus. Russian, you speak Russian? No. I'm sorry? Russian? No. Russian? Russian? Yeah. No, no, English. Uh, American, American, yeah. Um, this, I guess this town's Russian, yeah. Uh, it's a bar. Yeah. Bar, yeah.
Check this out, guys. So the guy, this D-bag, uh, basically wouldn't drive me up the hill. Right, he said 50 for over there. Uh, another five if you want to go up the hill here. So I got out. I'm going to get a little bit of exercise, put my bicycle at the center there. And uh, just going to hike it up here. It's about another 1,000 feet, so it's not far. And uh, we'll check into the room here. Home sweet home, guys. This room is better, actually, because of the view. It's like oceanfront here. And it does have a private bathroom over there, which I will be making use of. It's perfectly fine. Um, the view, you know, as I said, mountains and ocean, beautiful. Maybe I'll check for next week just to see if it's uh, available here. Check out the view, guys. It's madness here. Very good. Here's the view of the bedroom, guys. Got AC heater. Hopefully the heater works here. I'm not sure if it does, but it's kind of warm in here. And let's go get the bicycle. Put the bicycle at the center. Got to go grab it right at home, right? So make sure nobody takes it. So this one I checked into looks perfectly fine. It's a legitimate, you know, listing there. Um, this one is actually a little bit more expensive, right? And then you got the view here, which is fantastic, right? So no complaints. And it is a little bit older. It's not a luxury room there. So it will be nice to live here. Now, once it gets colder, um, I'm going to be spending a lot of time in my room because, you know, you can't go to the beach or whatever. And it's also the rainy season now, right? So got this constant storm there. Um, but when I was here three years ago over in uh, Suta More, now, strangely, um, I had been moving to uh, Suta More uh, a little bit before this time, October uh, 5th there. And the weather in Sutomori was still beach wet, right? So eventually what happened there is that uh, it started uh, getting colder, you know, uh, well into October. But uh, it was good the first couple of weeks that I was there. So that's when I moved to Albania, right? Uh, and I did take a private taxi this time, uh, you know, three years ago as well, uh, to Albania. And that cost me like $85 which was actually not that bad, uh, given the uh, distance there. Uh, because same thing, I had the bicycle there, um, as I do now. So more cumbersome there with the bicycle. Now, what I'm actually going to do there next time I take the bus there um, is just pack the bicycle so it looks like a back, right? I didn't bother to take it apart, right? So if I pack it... Um, mm then I'll be able to, uh, you know, claim that's another piece of baggage, right? So he just didn't want to take the bicycle. Um, <clears throat> so next time, hopefully, we'll, when I get away with, and I also had to pay for the bus ticket, right? They refused to refund me the eight euros. Had to pay the eight euros uh, for the bus ticket, and then the 50 euros for the taxi, right? Paid both. Uh, and then, of course, I had to walk, which I uh, got some more exercise there. So, suitcase made it okay there. And so did I. It, wasn't, it was not, not a crazy hike there. Um, about a half mile or so with the, with, the, uh, back, uh, with the suitcase. Now, the suitcase, as you saw in the previous video there, uh, the wheels are not working on it and broken. So basically what that means is I'm actually just dragging it along the ground, right? The wheel, wheel base, you know, most of the wheels are broken now. So I might look to replace it. Um, I'm gonna actually going to contact some luggage companies. Got the bicycle back here. Nothing wrong with it, just some water. And let's get to cycling. I'm going to check out the center, check out the beach or something like this. Check out this madness, guys. Now, I never saw the beach in Budva before. I did go to uh, Bar, Sutramore, and Ulfinj, right? 
but this is okay. I mean, it's nothing super nice, but uh, definitely acceptable. I was not able to find a, an apartment and bar, right? There's my bicycle safe and sound near the room here. Interesting, we have some tropical fruit trees. I have no idea what kind of fruit that is there. 